This tutorial will show you how to create a PNG sequence with a transparent background um, from your animation so that you can then import that into Premiere and add different layers, um, put a different background on it, etc. So right here we have a little bit of Photoshop animation, uh, a little bouncy smiley face. And I want to take just the foreground layer, just the smiley face, and then I want to put it on a different background in Premiere. So the first thing I want to do is I can turn off these layers that I have in here, um, the background color and the ground layer. So I just have the smiley face and the transparent background. And we're going to export this as a PNG sequence because a PNG sequence can have an alpha channel. So to do that, we go up to File, Export, Render Video. And in this dialog that comes up, we want to give it a name. Make sure that it is going to a folder that we like. And then we want to make sure on this, like the default would be Adobe Media Encoder, would it make you an MP4 video, but we actually want a frame sequence. You can do some video types with transparent layers with alpha channels, but I like to work with image sequences. It gives me more flexibility. So here in the format, we want to choose PNG. Um, JPEGs can't have a transparency layer. Other formats that can, Photoshop and TIFF files can. Uh, PNG, I think, has a nice little, you had a little bit of compression, but not much. Um, and the quality is fine. So here is the secret to that. Down here in the render options, you want to make uh, an alpha channel. And you can really choose any of these. Down here in the render options, you want to turn on the alpha channel. And so you can really choose any of these. Uh, Pre-multiplied means that it will actually appear to have a black or a white background, but it will also have a transparency layer. Um, straight unmatted is just sort of straight with an alpha channel. And then you also just make sure that you've got all frames checked, so you're rendering all your frames. So we just hit render. Okay, so now that that's rendered, we're going to go over to Premiere and we're going to import that sequence as well as the background and put them together. So first of all, we want to create a new sequence with the specs that we want. So if we go to New, Sequence, or Control-N, you can uh, use one of the presets if you like um, to get a 1080p, 24 frame per second composition. Uh, you know, it's 23976. That doesn't really matter. It's basically close enough to 24, but if you like to have nice ground to go to the custom settings over here and choose 24. Again, important to name things so that you know what you're working with. And now we have our sequence. So let's get our footage in. So we go to File, Import, Control-I. And then we want to select the first frame of our sequence. So you can see the whole 38 frame sequences here. And you just need to select the first frame, and then there's this little box down here that says image sequence. If you check that box, it will import all of these like a video file. So if you hit open, then here it is. Um, but what you note is that the frame rate defaults to 2997, and we're working at 24 frames per second, so we need to change the frame rate of this. Um, Actually, when I animated this, I animated it on twos. So if I change the frame rate to 12, then that's going to replicate animating on twos in a 24 frame per second sequence. So if you right click on that and go to modify, interpret footage, right here you can see it's, it's telling you the frame rate's 2997, but we want to change that to 12. Okay, everything else is fine. And here we have our sequence. We can drag that in. It's going to ask us, it's going to say it doesn't match. That's fine. We know it doesn't match. We intentionally did that. So if I zoom in here, here is our whole animation. All right, so let's get our background. Control I will get you 
the import dialog and then you go and find your background and you just take it and put it underneath. Oops, that one on top. Let's make sure it gets underneath. There we go. There's our smiley face. Um, so here you can see that we didn't really have to do anything, no blending modes or anything like that. It is just transparent on top of the background. And of course you can select this layer and use the effects control to reposition it if you need to. Let's move this guy over here, move it down a little bit and trim this up. And there we go, we've got our animation and we got it on our background.